Hello friends. Today we're going to be presenting a case of Navica Boldy Brider Infest. This was a case done by Dr. V. Anand and assisted by Dr. Valerie at the MCV ENT clinic. So we have a 76 year old female with hypertension and diabetes with multiple nasal complaints and clinically on endoscopy they had bilateral nasal polyposis. So the paranasal CT scan shows bilateral block of frontal recess, bilateral ethmoid sinusitis, bilateral maxillary sinusitis, and uh, mild sphenoid sinusitis with block of sphenoethmoidal recesses. With this in mind, we decided to go for bilateral first with navigation system. So the aim of this video is to highlight the use of navigation in deep rider systems for frontal and sphenoid clearance and also to highlight the use of sphenoid trocar forceps for access to the sphenoid sinuses. We'll start with the left maxillary sinus. Here we can see a straight navigable deep rider being used to widen the maxillary ostium. And here you can see the maxillary ostium on the left side being widened open. Next, we turn to the left frontal sinus. Here we're going to be using the curved navigable deep rider, which the blades can be turned either anteriorly or posteriorly to help with clearance of the frontal recess. And in this case, at this point in time, we're using the curved deep rider, which is navigable, with the blade pointed anteriorly, as you can see in the video. Okay, it's clearing the frontal recess. Next, you can see the blade has been turned, and now it's doing more of the posterior clearance with the blade pointing posteriorly. Next, we'll go to the left sphenoid. Here, we're using a straight navigable deep rider to gain access to the left sphenoid sinus. And here, we have the right frontal recess and sinus being cleared again with the use of a navigable curved deep rider. Next, we go to the right posterior ethmoid. Here, we're using a straight navigable deep rider to clear the posterior ethmoid. And here you can see the use of the sphenoid trocar and punch forceps, which is being used to gain access into the right sphenoid sinus. And here the straight navigable deep rider is being used to clear the polyps and to also widen the ostium, which is created by the sphenoid trocar. Forceps. So this is an image of the sphenoid trocar or punch forceps and here we can see the tip of the sphenoid trocar. Next we have a right sphenoidotomy. Here you can see the images of the surgery going on and also on navigation system using a straight navigable deep rider to widen the sphenoid ostium. Thank you.